Tigger too. Sorry, it's about okay. Let's have a story. It's story time. Come on. Hey, Grandma opened a book. I don't know how to play this. Grandma opened a book. It was late last day of summer in the hundred acre wood. Pooh and Christopher Robin were having a grand time playing on the enchanted hill. Christopher Robin had some important news, but he wasn't quite sure how to tell it to Pooh. Finally, Christopher Robin said, Pooh, if you ever need me and I'm not around, you must remember that you're braver than you believe and stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And what's more important to know is that even if we're apart, I shall always be with you. The next morning, Pooh rushed out to play on the leaves and found a honey pot. Of course, he wanted to eat all the honey right away, but he wasn't sure if he should, so he set off to ask Christopher Robin. But Pooh couldn't find Christopher Robin. Instead, he found Piglet high up in a tree, squeaking with fear. Whatever are you doing up there, Piglet? asked Pooh. I'm learning not to be afraid of heights, Piglet explained, just as he started to fall. Tigger tried to bounce up to catch Piglet, but his tail wasn't strong enough for such a big bounce, or so he thought. Luckily, Piglet fell right into Tigger's arms. Look at there, look. Pooh went to see Rabbit, but Rabbit didn't know where Christopher Robin was either. Rabbit spotted a note stuck to the honey pot, but he couldn't read it because it was covered with honey. Owl didn't let that stop him. He read around the honey. The note is from Christopher Robin, said Owl. He's gone away to a terrible place called Skull. He needs our help. Christopher Robin needs help. Who decided to rescue Christopher Robin? Owl drew a map of how to reach him in the e eye of the skull beyond the Forbidden Mountains. Piglet didn't like the sound of that. Are there monsters there, he fretted. Oh, thank you. I nearly forgot, Owl said, quickly adding monsters to his map. There are heffalumps, woozles, jagglers, and a fabled skull sarus. No one knew what a skull sarus was, including Owl, and everyone was afraid of it. Still, for Christopher Robin's sake, his friends set off to save him. They crossed the bridge from the Hundred Acre Wood into the Great Unknown. Before long, Pooh said, I wonder if those rather be forbidding looking things up ahead might be the Forbidden Mountains. Or Rabbit did not trust his eyes. We must follow the map, he declared. Soon the friends were completely lost. They found themselves near a dark cave. Piglet looked. Sk 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 skull, he stammered. The friends suddenly realized they had reached Skull Cave. Pooh rushed inside to save Christopher Robin. The others hesitated outside. Then they heard a horrible rumbling. The skull sarus, the piglet squealed. It's getting closer and hungry. Added Tigger. Without another thought, they all rushed into the cave. In the huge place with the tunnels heading everywhere, Pooh took a wrong turn, slipped and rolled away from his friends. The shining crystal cover walls echoed with some terrible rumbling. The Skullsaurus got poo, Tigger cried. Yeah, if you play it there, whatever it says. Then Rabbit spotted an opening high in this cave. It's the eye of the skull, he called. We must rescue Christopher Robin for Pooh's sake. And Eeyore's. There it is. If anybody has any idea of how to get up there. Then you would have to. Rabbit looked at the map. 
this is useless, he said in disgust. I'm not smart enough to figure this out. But after a moment, Rabbit came up with a plan. Tigger, you bounce Piglet up to that ledge. And Piglet, you toss that vine to me, he said. Tigger didn't think his tail was strong enough for the bounce. Piglet was afraid of bouncing that high, but they knew they had to do something to save Christopher Robin and Pooh. Christopher Robin lowered a pot of honey into the cave. When he pulled it up again, the pot was empty of honey and full of bear. The rumbling had stopped. The noise of the Skullsaurus had only been the grumbling of Pooh's tummy. In fact, all the things the friends had been afraid of didn't seem scary any longer. Now that they were together, Pooh told his friends about being alone and afraid in the cave. Only one thing had made it better. He had remembered what Christopher Robin had said to him. Even if we're apart, I shall always be with you. Pooh put his paws on Christopher Robin's shoulder and said, And I shall always be with you. The end. <laughs>